Hello and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. And in today's episode, we have something rather special. Not because I was asked to beta test this thing long before it was made public, but because it continues to demonstrate the brilliance of Arduino. I am, of course, talking about the brand new Arduino Nano R4. If you would like a chance to win this, then leave a comment in the description below telling us what you would do with it. As the name suggests, the Arduino Nano R4 is a nanified version of the Arduino Uno R4, which itself is an excellent microcontroller development platform. Obviously, the Nano R4 can't have all the features of the Uno, like the large LED array and the barrel connector, but that's kind of the point, because the Nano gives you the same computational and code compatibility in the Uno, and then kind of squishes it into the famous Nano format, making it perfect for use with breadboards, strip boards, and even directly soldered to custom carriers. Why exactly do I think that the Arduino Nano R4 is awesome? Well, before we can even look at the Nano itself, the awesomeness is in the name. It's an Arduino product. And being an Arduino product, you know that the designers of this have thought long and hard to give us a board that is easy to use, easy to program, and not to mention is fully compatible with the Arduino IDE environment, which is one of the best ways to get into microcontroller development. If you are wondering whether I was paid to say that, no. I only needed to talk about the Nano board. I genuinely think that Arduino is the gold standard of library design. One proof? toggle a pin in any RTOS or other microcontroller environment, and then do the same for the Arduino with its digital write function. You'll understand. Now, the Nano R4 is awesome because of the fact that it brings the powerful 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4 into the Nano package, along with the now improved USB-C. This means that our Nano projects can now take full advantage of the modern 32-bit computing. But what really puts the cherry on top is that the Nano, like the Uno R4, is 5 volt tolerant. So your older designs that use the Nano can use this new version without any hardware changes whatsoever. At the heart of the Nano R4 is the Renaissance RA4M1 microcontroller, which is a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4 clocked at 48 megahertz, contains 256 kilobytes of flash and 32 kilobytes of static RAM, eight kilobytes of data storage for use as EEPROM, a 14-bit ADC, which doesn't have the fiddly problems that the RP2040 has, SCI including UART, I2C and SPI and 5-volt operation. The Nano also integrates a built-in LED, just like all the other Arduino boards, but it also includes a built-in RGB LED, along with 22 digital I.O., 6 PWM pins, 8 analog input pins, a DAC, op-amp, and a battery input, which is specifically for the RTC and not powering the board. Along with the usual buses, this also contains two I2C ports, with one being a standard 5-volt I2C bus and the other being a 3.3-volt bus for the quick connector, and a CAN bus on pins D5 and D4, meaning that you can connect this device to some rather interesting systems, often found in engines and automotive systems. What can you do with the Arduino Nano R4? Well, if you've used a Nano in the past, then the R4 can already be used in the same application, thanks to its 5 volt tolerance and absolute superiority over older Nano boards. But if we were starting new projects, then this is where things get quite interesting. Firstly, the Nano would be ideal for any robotic project thanks to its numerous I.O., support for 6 PWM signals, and its 5 volt tolerance. The 32-bit CPU gives you excellent degrees of precision, faster than older 8-bit micros, so you could do some really fine motor control with this board. Secondly, the Nano is an excellent choice for those looking to create IoT projects thanks to its small size. Now, the Nano itself doesn't have connectivity options yet, but it could easily be expanded with connectivity solutions such as external Wi-Fi and Bluetooth bridges. From there, it could be used to control machinery, devices, and read sensors, giving you plenty of capabilities on the edge. Thirdly, the Nano is an excellent candidate for drones and other aerial systems. Because of its high degree of capability and small size, it can do well in such applications, requiring little energy to lift it off the ground, all while being able to run complex algorithms needed to keep drones and planes in the air. If you wanted to expand these capabilities, it could potentially be tied into the canvas of an engine, giving you live data feeds. The Arduino Nano R4 is an excellent choice for engineers who want to stick with the Nano format but need the capabilities of the Uno R4. 
It's 5 volt tolerance, along with the support for the Arduino IDE libraries, USB-C, 32-bit capability, and all-round robust design makes the Nano suitable for most applications. And I can definitely say that the Nano R4 is a welcome addition to the long line of Arduino products that have given us nothing but perfection over the last decade. If you want the chance to win one of these boards, then leave a comment below telling us what you would do with it. And if you want to show your support for this channel, then head over to the Electromaker store where you can get more parts for your next project. With that said, this is Robin Mitchell signing off. Woo!